again, it's Cherry once more. Uh, another one of these um, backed up replays. Uh, Galant. Now, Galant. I never bought one um, originally. The Christmas containers came out. I bought a ton of them in 2016, 2017 and got no ships whatsoever. I bought them on day three or four, which basically meant all the ships had gone. So I decided this year I wasn't going to buy too many. I only bought three or four and got, again, no ships. Um, but I looked at the costings and thought, well, with the sales on and everything else, I would actually drop, I think it was only about £17, and I ended up with the Glant, the um, Duke of Dalsta, and... Uh, Ubari, uh, and it all the whole lot cost me about seventeen pound. I thought, well, rather than spending all that money out on containers, I'll just buy three ships that I actually wanted. Uh, Galant, um, tier six British premium destroyer, um, really the only viable destroyer for the British line in the game so far. Um, was very lucky. Um, uh, have done a respec on a load of captains on the during the, re the recent re free respec, and ended up um, putting finally putting Jack Dunkirk into the Conqueror. Uh, as a 17 point captain freeing up another 19 point british captain had absolutely nowhere to put him so ha on the free reset completely trained him as an out and out british destroyer captain so yes seal clubbing 19 point captain on a galan he's a little bit on the naughty side um this is one of the very early games in the galan i haven't played a huge amount of games this is actually um for the current mission pack for the fifth round of the north cape campaign uh, where you need a shed ton of uh, torpedo hits and battleship damage from british cruisers or destroyers now that really does bother me that whole thing about needing to get 11 torpedo hits from um or 11 torpedo hits from british cruisers or destroyers being as there's only one via there's only one eligible destroyer um so it has actually meant some interesting times uh galan eight torpedo tubes uh two quads eight kilometers um relatively stealthy relatively fast uh the 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 huge bonus with these single fire and you'll see later it does make such a massive difference for being able to build your own spread so going in with uh, Nylon and Mingba, um, the this is the sort of spread you can lay with these. I mean, that is a doozy of a line of torpedoes. Yeah, okay, it's not going to hit because I dropped them too early and he smoked. But that is just almost the perfect spread you can do with these things. Coming up against the Jean Wei, fantastic gunboat. Um, have nothing to fear from his torpedoes. The Nicholas is another option, another case entirely. The guns on the Galant are meh, not terrible, but not. They haven't got the alpha or the fire chance of the Japanese guns. They don't have the rate of fire and the sheer low value of the American guns. They're just a kind of meh. meh. Uh, Nicholas is up. Um, let's get some guns in here. He's out of his smoke. He spotted me. I'm spotting him. Get some guns in. Try to avoid his torpedoes. The other thing you'll notice that I'm noticing after a few games of the Glen is it does eat a lot of criticals on his guns a lot just got to try and avoid those nicholas torps they are very good torpedoes and he's grabbed himself on an island so let's just get him off and unfortunately the chesare the, the conisberg took the kill the chesare took the torpedoes um the gallant basically didn't try and get unspotted from those planes so yeah the gallant's an interesting ship um i'm starting to like it you it has a very unique i think it has a very unique play style um it's not a gunboat not by a long shot long shot it's not an out and out torpedo boat it's very much what i like about it is it's very royal navy as in it's a it's a it's kind of a jack of all trades it almost reflects what the idea was for the royal navy which was basically their ships were good at a lot of things uh, sorry average a lot of things I, I think best way of describing the Galant is 
the Ford Mondeo of destroyers. Everything's just about right, but not perfect. And it doesn't, it's not outstanding in any way. Um, you know, like they, I don't know if you ever remember the early Mondeos, they had a pen holder. Um, the pen holder was too skinny for a, uh, a big biro and too fat for one of those little slim ones. But it was a nice idea, but it just didn't work. But then if you look at the dashboard of a car like that, then everything's in just the right place. Not perfect, but it's just adequate. And that's that's yeah, the Galant, the Ford Mondeo of World of Warships. This is turning out to be quite a cagey game. It's very kind of shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we. Have a little run on the Iron Duke. Uh, again, this single fire torpedo thing is very, very nice. You can basically lay a line where you like. So you can spread them out. You've got, you're not set to a spread. So a nice long line and hopefully get one or two in. Um, can't remember, it's a while. Oh, this is the game with Tato. Oh, we did say, uh, uh, no, it's not Tato, not Mr. Tato, different one. Um, it must be a clan called Tato. Didn't know about those. So I think the Iron is going to avoid most of those. They are very maneuverable, the British battleships. Torpedo reload time on this is okay. Sort of not not outstanding, not terrible, just okay. We're back to that Mondeo moment again. It's just, you know, it's okay. Just going to strategically, oh, I was going to crash onto the island, but I think we can get around if we loop it. Just waiting for the torps to reload for that Iron Duke. Um... We called the Anshan back because there was a push coming in towards the cap. Um, and Ming Bao and his Dunkirk is the uh, best way of describing what he's doing there. He is um, just trying to hold the line over there. Um, shouldn't be having too much of a problem. It's only a, a Jamway and a Glossnier. Iron Duke's coming back round. Torps are up. Let's see if we can get anywhere with this thing. If I remember rightly, this was quite a wiggly Iron Duke. He was very good at avoiding torpedoes. You can make pretty patterns of the torpedoes. And the bugs back up. So zoom out, zoom in, zoom back out, press the button, and then rock and roll. <laughs> it's the weirdest of bugs. And the funny thing is, it does, if you run the zoom out mod, which is the one that just lets you zoom slightly further out, this doesn't happen on the replays. Um, but for some reason I can't get the zoom out mod to work at the moment. Which is a pain because I prefer the slightly higher level of zoom out. Uh, never played around. I played around very, very briefly with the zoom in mods, and to be honest with you, it makes it almost impossible to hit a target because if unless you're point blank, sorry, if you're point blank, then the extra zoom actually gives you so many problems. Uh, yeah, it's great for long range spamming, but what's the point? Uh, I like being up close and personal. Um, so it works better on the zoom out. The zoom out actually just takes you out an extra two clicks, which basically just gives you slightly more of a above your ship view, and I, th I find it a much more comfortable view on a widescreen monitor. Um, I run the game on Affinity, which is three screens, um, so obviously I've got a lot of real estate, and it can be a royal pain in the bum. This, um, yeah, this zoom bug is bugging the life out of me at the moment. So we're picking on the Jamway, have no kills, have one torpedo hit. This is a really 
poor showing for a destroyer, it has to be said. It does improve slightly. Not by much, but it does improve slightly. But better to show the good, the bad and the ugly games. Um, you know, not every game's a not every game's a monster crocker hundred and ninety five thousand damage epic oh god I carried the game kind of game. Most of the games we play are quite mediocre like this where, you know, you win. Um, but you don't get a huge amount of you know, not farming damage and farming ships and stuff. Don't know about anybody else, but I'm particularly excited about the upcoming. Uh, f I'm, I'm really excited about the French battleships. Um, I think they're going to be quite good fun. Um, they are looking to be very nice, in fact. Now, that was a kill still. Now, in my defence, um, the Dunkirk was, oh, Mingo and the Dunkirk was desperately begging me to get rid of it off of his flank. So, I'll, I'm going to take that as doing as instructed. These are the spreads I'm talking about with these talks. It's just brutal. Pop his smoke, get the torps out of the cross in the air, he's going to ground himself right on my torps. And that's a double strike. Don't get me, I, you, don't get, you don't actually get too many of those. It's always a nice one to get a double strike, I like those. So three kills for a princely 32,000 damage. Um, yeah, kills stolen, kills secured. Um, guns removed from the game. That's the excuse I use normally when I'm stealing people's kills. Oh yes, get rid of the guns. Which is actually the right way of playing it. However, it's still annoying as hell when you've done all that damage and someone just takes 100 hit points and takes the kill. Right, well, basically, if you look at the ship layouts on this, we're up on points. Uh, we are massively up on destroyers, as in they've been wiped out and we still have 3DDs. This should now be a walkover. Um, yeah, I use the word loosely, should. Um, should be a walkover. Um, assuming our destroyers that we have don't decide to suicide in one by one against various ships. Now that's an AFK New York. Um, you know it's what I did here. I only gave him two torpedoes. That's all he needed. Um, the rest of them go out on the Iron Duke. Uh, I won't be able to get the kill. Sod it. You know, who cares? It's an AFK ship. Uh, if you can make it go away with minimal harm to yourself, then do it. Um, it's free XP, basically. Um, so, hands up. Yes, I killed an AFK. Um, bless him, he may have DC'd, or he may just be one of those wonderful people that doesn't bother taking part in the game and just tries to farm a little bit of XP every game. But, you know, uh, Wargamer Tellus has no bots. So, yeah, I can only assume he's disconnected. Bless him. And I'm putting him out of his misery. Yeah, as I thought it would take two talks. You get to, you get roughly 10 k damage out of these talks, so two talks was all he needed. Uh, Iron Duke has dodged the other torpedoes. Now it's a case of Galad trying to hunt down the Iron Duke. Torpedo reload is very good on this. I mean, once you've taken, once, once you've taken a bit of damage with, um, with um, Adrenaline Rush, you're looking at about a minute for the torpedoes. And considering there's eight of them, potential damage of about eighty thousand. It's a nice thing, you know. You, you, let's look at DPM. You've got potential. You've got potential eighty thousand DPM on your torpedoes. That should be something stupid enough to eat them all. Right. If you look, the Iron Duke. If you watch the torpedo aiming point it is slowing the, the iron duke is slowing now this is as you can see i'm spreading those torpedoes in the route as if he's slowing down and this is where the single fire torpedoes comes in you're not restricted to two spreads 
you've basically got eight torpedo spreads. Uh, and I would be savagely sad if at least one of those torpedoes didn't hit. And to be honest with you, with them spread like that, it doesn't matter now if he speeds up or slows down, he's going to eat one of them, maybe two. Or even all of them. In fact, pretty much all of them. But you see what I mean about the spread? That spread, six of those torpedoes hit him out of eight. Oh, I only four counted, but six hit him. So that's the Iron Duke down, the fifth kill for a Kraken. Again, wasn't watching the numbers, didn't know there was a Kraken there. It's games like this that you play and you actually enjoy because it's just flowing. The, 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 the gameplay is flowing, the, the ship's working well, enemy ships go where you want them to go, and you don't even watch the scores. I'm looking at the thing, I'm looking at it now after the fact, thinking, well, that's not actually a bad game. Double strike, a devastating strike, Kraken, it's a nice collection of medals. Um, but obviously in gameplay with the destroyer you're not really looking at your badges upstairs you're more interested in killing shit <gasps> oh I said it got some time to do some recording today because there was um, as I say some issues with my broadband um, the upload speeds were actually giving me speedtest.net was giving me 24 meg upload which is absolutely awesome exactly more than I'm paying for uh, but YouTube was uploading at about 1.5 to 1.6, which meant I couldn't stream, couldn't upload, couldn't do anything. Um, a 1.1 gig file was taking about two hours to uh, upload. Um, <clears throat> now we have a new router, and it is lovely. A lovely router that works, which is always nice. Again, looking at, look, look, watch these spreads. You can kind of, you've got a wiggly gloss near there that's basically weaving bobbing and weaving, you can throw torpedoes every part of his path, and they've really got to be a decent player to avoid them. And this Golosnier Torsk Torsk can't remember, I can't read his name isn't a terrible player. Really is not a terrible player. Um, well, on paper he's not a terrible player. I mean, obviously he knows how to use the WASD keys, which is hacking. Um, but, you know, you don't know until the end of the game, he's got no kills, you don't know if he's done any damage, you don't know what's going on there. Oh, smoked up, get a bob back as a falls in the smoke and wait for those torpedoes to come up, or of course, being a French cruiser, you hit the two button and open up with AP and then do some damage, which is always nice. Get some damage in, yes, yeah, do some damage, got a confederate. So we're now looking at a double strike, um, confederate, devastating strike, and a kraken. Not bad. This is an issue I have as well with ammo changing. I tend to forget to change ammo type. So he's weaving and I've wasted a salvo there because those, even if those AP shells had hit, they weren't very likely to do anything. 